Hello, Mrs H here. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a long molecule that contains a unique genetic code. Most of the DNA is found packaged as chromosomes in the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. Some DNA is found in mitochondria and in the chloroplasts, and in prokaryotic cells, they will have their DNA loose in the cytoplasm. DNA has a double helix shape like a twisted ladder and this shape was discovered by Watson and Crick with the help of Rosalind Franklin and her X-ray diffraction image and Maurice Wilkins. Here we can see the simplified version of DNA and the version that shows the individual nucleotides. DNA has two strands and each strand is a polymer of repeating units or monomers called nucleotides. Here is a single nucleotide and it is made up of a phosphate molecule, a sugar and a base. The bases are found in pairs in DNA and are complementary to each other. There are four bases, C, G, A and T, and you can see that they point towards each other in the DNA molecule. The base pairing rules in DNA are that C pairs with G, G with C, A with T and T with A. A section of DNA that has a code to make a protein is called a gene. DNA consists of many different genes, each being the code to make many different proteins. It is important we make proteins as we are essentially made up of many proteins. For example, hair, nails, collagen in skin, fibers in muscle cells, fibers involved in the mitosis and meiosis, enzymes, antibodies, transport proteins in the cell surface membranes, some hormones, tendons, ligaments, and the list goes on. If we look at the code of the gene on the left hand side, the template strand of the DNA, then using the base pairing rules we can work out the other complementary base pairs on the other strand of DNA. T goes with A, A goes with T, C goes with G and so on, all the way down. The whole DNA molecule is too big to leave the nucleus but proteins are made by ribosomes in the cytoplasm and we only need a copy of this gene, which is a small section of the whole DNA molecule. So two strands in the DNA will separate and the template strand of the DNA will be exposed so that it can be copied. There are also some free nucleotides in the nucleus and these are called RNA nucleotides. There are four different bases, all the same as in DNA except for T. T does not exist outside of DNA, so T is replaced by U. The base pairing rules are the same as before, but obviously because there's no T, an A will have to pair up with a U. The base of the free RNA nucleotides pair with the bases on the template DNA strand, forming a new single-stranded molecule called mRNA. mRNA is now a complementary copy of the template strand and it's small enough to pass through the membrane of the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. The making of mRNA is called transcription and it happens in the nucleus. When the mRNA is in the cytoplasm, it connects to a ribosome and the DNA strands move back together in the nucleus. Also in the cytoplasm are some other molecules called tRNA and these have a triplet of bases and they can carry an amino acid. There are lots of different tRNA molecules in the cytoplasm carrying different amino acids, depending on the tRNA triplet code. So three bases for one amino acid. Once the ribosome is attached to the mRNA, the complementary triplet code, also known as a codon, on the mRNA matches the complementary triplet code on the tRNA molecule, which is also known as an anticodon. AUG on the mRNA matches with UAC on the tRNA. Then the ribosome moves to the next position on the mRNA, GGC, which will match with CCG anticodon or triplet on the tRNA. Now there are two amino acids next to each other, a peptide bond can join them together and the empty tRNA molecule returns to the cytoplasm to pick up another amino acid. The ribosome continues to move along the mRNA and the complementary pairing between the codons or the triplets on the mRNA and the anticodon, the triplets on the tRNA, 
continue until all the amino acids have been assembled and joined together to make a protein. Making a protein from the mRNA code is called translation. Now, I appreciate that that is a lot of information. So there is a little gap fill revision sheet that you can download if you go to the link in the description. And I'll just do a quick summary for you as well. A complementary copy of the gene on the template strand is made. And this copy is called mRNA and the copying process is called transcription. Then the mRNA moves into the cytoplasm, connects with a ribosome, three bases on the mRNA codon, match three bases on the tRNA anticodon molecule, which are carrying amino acids. Peptide bonds form between the amino acids, making a protein. Assembling amino acids into a protein is called translation. Transcription and translation are the two stages of protein synthesis, so making proteins. You will need to practice application questions on this area. Don't forget to download the quick revision summary sheet. And if you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up with new content.